Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler Day here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Tyler Day. I'm partnered with my brother Peter Day and we own the brand OptimizedToConvert.com. Uh, we've been doing affiliate marketing since 2012 and we've done eight figures in affiliate revenue and we come here to the channel every day to help give you information, you know, helpful knowledge and value that you can use uh, to make more money or increase your productivity in affiliate marketing, increase your conversions, stuff like that. So anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about sort of a newbie based topic. We're going to about we're going to be talking about what is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing has a few different terms. It could also be called CPA marketing. Um, it could be called lead generation. Okay. But affiliate marketing is essentially promoting other people's products or services to get a commission on that sale, okay? So when you're doing affiliate marketing, you can either get paid a commission or you could just get paid a fixed amount up front to produce some sort of result, whether that be a lead or a sale or a phone call, something like that, right? So let me talk about kind of how I got into affiliate marketing and sort of the opportunity in general around affiliate marketing and why I think it's still one of the best opportunities um, of the 2020, you know, new decade here. Okay. So I first found out about affiliate marketing when I was about uh, 17 years old or so when basically my brother Peter had been working in the network marketing space, which um, traditionally is, is sort of, it's been around since the nineties. I'm sure you've heard of network marketing, but you know, when I was in high school, my brother was a, f a few years older than me just starting college. And he was basically looking at, you know, different opportunities where he could make money without having to work for somebody else or have a boss. And for a few years, my brother was doing uh, network marketing. And, you know, this, this relied mostly on like recruiting people in person, which Peter didn't really like. And he wanted to sort of take an advanced approach to his network marketing business. Um, at the time, he was basically recruiting people to switch their energy provider with a network marketing company. And, you know, Peter was just tired of like having to recruit people in person to do this. He didn't want to just go knock on people's doors and, you know, try to convince them to sign up for this network marketing deal. And, um, you know, it, it just wasn't really the model that he wanted to take. So what my brother ended up doing was basically starting a website around his network marketing business and was trying to figure out how to drive web traffic to this network marketing opportunity. And around the time that he got started doing that, he basically learned about an entirely different opportunity online of affiliate marketing. And, you know, the network marketing business model is a little bit outdated where, you know, you're recruiting people around a specific product or service and then, you know, trying to get them to buy the product, but not only that, but trying to get them to recruit other people to buy the product under them. Um, you know, it's it's, it's a very outdated sort of business approach. And, you know, Peter sort of realized very quickly that maybe this wasn't really what he wanted to be doing. Okay. So essentially my brother had been learning about all sorts of different online marketing strategies to grow his network marketing business. And, you know, it was around that time that he basically figured out that he could be doing online marketing, but just selling digital products or um, services online. Okay. And, this was a much, much easier approach in, in his opinion, because, you know, convincing somebody to, you know, start up their own business, you know, selling other people energy, it just wasn't the easiest thing to do. And, you know, he was making a little bit of money, but it wasn't really um, working that well for him. Right. So it was around that time that Peter basically started to switch gears towards promoting affiliate offers. And, it was around that time that I joined in business with my brother, Peter, and we started to work on this um, venture together of basically learning how to do affiliate marketing through promoting things online and through paid advertising and things like that. And, you know, one of the, one of the things that was so attractive to me, because I was very similar to my brother where I, I really didn't want to have my own boss, you know, I don't do very well, like taking orders from a boss, you know, I'd had a couple little jobs in high school that just didn't work out well with you know, managers that were, you know, barking at me and stuff like that. And I knew I didn't want to have a boss. And Peter was sort of in the same boat. He knew that he did not want to work his butt off to make somebody else rich. Okay. 
So we got into this affiliate marketing space and we really did have some dollar signs in our eyes at first thinking that, you know, we had just struck gold and we were about to be, you know, internet millionaires within, you know, the first month or something like that. And, you know, to, to our surprise, it was a lot more difficult than we thought to figure things out. You know, we were trying to promote all sorts of different products and services as affiliates and mostly just failing at, at most of the things we were trying. Um, you know, the first product we were trying to sell was basically an online course that taught people how to, you know, start a business by blogging, right? And, you know, the, the course content was definitely outdated and, you know, we were, we were really trying to promote this. Like we were running ads. We were trying out different traffic sources. Um, a traffic source is basically a, a, a platform where you buy ads, like um, on the search engine or on Facebook, something like that, right? Um, we hadn't heard about Facebook ads that early on. That This is back in 2012. So basically, we went through a period of really struggling for about three years until we learned about a specific area of affiliate marketing called lead generation. Um, you know, the, the product that we were selling was basically a course, and for every sale, we would earn a commission on that course. It was like a 75% commission of the entire sale or something would get paid out to us for our um, effort selling that, that product, right? But even with that, it still wasn't really working for us very well. So in 2015, we basically got connected with a mentor who was doing affiliate marketing in a completely different way than us. Um, you know, instead of selling products or services for a commission, he was basically um, only promoting lead generation offers where instead of getting paid for a sale, you get paid just to simply generate a lead. And there was one specific offer that he was promoting for people that, um, you know, needed to get a home that basically somebody, all they had to do was put in their name, their email, and their phone number and it paid something like four bucks or something like that, right? So we paid this mentor to basically show us what he was doing. And this mentor was making $300,000 per month doing this stuff. And we, we wanted to figure it out. We were so desperate after failing for three years that we were just willing to do whatever it took to actually get successful and to get something off the ground, right? So... What ended up happening is this mentor actually showed us exactly what he was doing to make money in affiliate marketing. And within 30 days, we had had our first $30,000 profit month. And um, in that same year, we did $3 million in business revenue. And this was in 2015. And since 2015, there hasn't been a year where we've done less that amount in revenue. So the affiliate marketing opportunity is still alive and well. And to me, it seems like one of the best opportunities there is to basically start a business without having to invest a massive amount of money or buy a franchise or, um, you know, invent a product or, you know, patent something or buy a whole bunch of inventory on something. It's a, it's a business that you can start literally, you know, in, in your in your home with n nothing, right? I mean, I basically started affiliate marketing back in the day with like $300. And, you know, in 2015, the first month that we got profitable, Peter and I basically maxed out all of our credit cards and, you know, paid off our credit cards a week, a week later when we got paid and then maxed them out again. And, you know, basically we started building our entire business um, from nothing, right? And we're, of course, we were able to spend that much on the credit cards because we were profitable on our um, ad spend. We were earning more money in affiliate commissions and we were spending on ads. So we were able to ramp up very, very quickly. And there's no other business where you can do this. I mean, you know, if you're starting a business and, you know, let's say that you're selling socks or something like that and you get profitable, you know, in order to scale up, you would actually need to order more inventory, like wait like six weeks for that inventory to show up and go, go through this kind of slow process of scaling up the business. Um, with affiliate marketing, that's not the case. It can ramp very, very quickly. And, you know, there's been times where Peter and I have found an affiliate offer and have taken it from zero dollars in revenue to six figures a month in profit. Um, basically, you know, within, within just like a month period of time, right? There's no other business model where you can do this. And, you know, the dream that I had of basically making millions of dollars behind the computer ended up coming to a reality. You know, it took me a lot longer than I thought it would. And there was a lot more pitfalls than I thought there would be initially. But 
the dream ended up being real and we ended up accomplishing what we had set out to do. And, you know, granted, we still have a long way to go. And, you know, we're still working on this, this dream every single day to take things to the, to, you know, even more of a higher level. But, you know, if you're looking at getting into affiliate marketing, I would definitely recommend it. It's um, just a very um, strong opportunity for anybody that's um, just looking for different ways to make money online. Okay. That being said, guys, if you're looking for some more information on this, we have an article. If you go to optimizetoconvert.com, um, you'll see a tab up top called the CPA Marketing Guide. And, you know, this is a free guide that's just public on our blog that um, really just goes through the, the scope of just different opportunities. And, um, you know, you can join our Facebook group, Affiliates Ask Anything. It's a free group. Okay. Now, other than that, if you're looking for some additional training, we have a case study on our site. Um, one of these case studies is actually only $7, where it shows an example of a profitable ad campaign that we've ran in the past. Um, we have a course called the Social Lead Gen Blueprint, which is geared more towards Facebook ads. Um, you know, if you want to learn how to do affiliate marketing on Facebook ads, which is our primary traffic source, um, this is the course for you guys. And other than that, if you want to learn one on one from me, we have a package called the virtual day in the office where I'll basically hold your hand and walk you through a campaign launch. I'll show you winning campaigns and it will basically just show you exactly um, what you need to do to start making money. Okay. Other than that, guys, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video.